welcome to my channel my name is Wolo I want to say thank you to everyone who have subscribed to my channel as usual I love sharing information and today I'll be sharing information about Calgary and Calgary is a city in Alberta and Alberta is one of the richest provinces in Canada Alberta contributes so much money to the federal government coffers and it's an oil province and they have lots of oil and gas companies in Alberta where you have um, the oil sands in Grand Prairie and Fort McMurray and those places are where you have the oil patches so a lot of people commute to Fort McMurray and Grand Prairie to you know look for jobs in the oil sands so that being said my focus is on Calgary today not on Alberta but I want to still say something about Alberta Alberta has the highest minimum wage in Canada which is $15 per hour it also has the lowest provincial sales tax in Canada, which is 5%, which means if you buy any item, you're only paying 5% provincial sales tax. So that implies that Alberta is a very rich province. So anybody living in Alberta is tagged as a very rich person because of the oil and gas industry. But that was before the economic downturn in 2014 that started into late 2014 and extended until 2016. The economy of Alberta started picking up in 2017 and 2018 and now is still coming up. Um, there have been a lot of hitches. Um, that's because one of the major pipelines that is supposed to be built to you know, bring in more jobs for the people who are living in Alberta is still undergoing the final stages of agreement between the government the indigenous people and the British Columbia government to agree for the pipeline to be built from, you know, the oil patch and pass through or the twinning of the pipeline is called the Trans Mountain Pipeline. So, so for it to be built and twinned and pass through British Columbia to the U.S. so that it can supply oil to the U.S. So that being said, I am focusing on Calgary today and the cost of living in, on, in Calgary. So because the oil patch and oil companies are based in Alberta, so most of these oil and gas companies have their headquarters stationed in Calgary. That's why Calgary is one of the richest cities in Canada. And then another thing about Calgary is that during winter, the, we the weather is not as bad as the other prairie regions or the prairie provinces like Manitoba and Saskatchewan, where we absorb so much cold. In Calgary, they have the Chinook, which blows intermittently once in a while during winter. So it's a warm wind that comes and blows and then they feel a little bit warm and then after a while they feel cold. So they don't have this cold, very long cold winters like we do in Manitoba and Saskatchewan. So I would say Calgary is supposed to be the best city in Canada. If not for the economic downturn that happened, Calgary is the best city where any new immigrant should um, land in and that's where i actually wanted to land it before you know i changed my mind and came to manitoba i don't know what will happen in the future maybe sometime soon i might relocate to calgary i don't know i'm just talking so that being said i'll be talking about the cost of living in calgary which is going to be beneficial to anybody who plans to land in calgary and uh, so you have an idea of what your expenses is going to look like by the time you arrive calgary and um, you live in calgary Calgary is divided into four zones or four areas. You have the Northwest, you have the Southwest, you have the Northeast and the Southeast so of Calgary. The cost of renting a one bedroom apartment in the city center of Calgary is about $1,150. Now this price has come down because it used, Calgary used to be one of the most expensive city before compared to Ontario and British Columbia. Uh, it used to be very expensive during the boom days, the oil and gas boom days. But once the economy went down, a lot of things went down as well. And it's also affected rental properties and um, affected the price of renting a house. So now it's more affordable to you know rent a house in Calgary. So to rent a one bedroom apartment in the city center, you should be budgeting about $1,200. For a two bedroom, you should be budgeting about $1,400 to $1,500. And then for a three bedroom, it's about $1,600 and above. Like I said, it's dependent on the area you want to rent in. So if you're renting in the Northeast and the Southeast areas, these are the prices you get. But if you go to the Northwest and the Southwest areas of Calgary, 
you will be spending more money in renting a house another thing is most new immigrants um, usually rent basements so renting a basement you can get a two-bedroom basement for one thousand two hundred dollars or one thousand three hundred dollars depending on the size or the square meter of the basement and the kind of house that you see so those are the things you can find and that's what most new immigrants do prefer to rent basements which is um, a little bit cheaper so you should also be considering that depending on your budget if you have so much money you can go for an apartment but if you feel that you want to conserve your money then you can rent a basement for one thousand two hundred dollars the cost of utilities varies, depends on your usage. Um, during winters, there are a lot of people who do not like winters. So they have this by side um, heaters or side, space heaters. Yeah, they call, they call it space heaters. So they have all these space heaters and they plug in and that increases the utility bills. And also during summer when the weather is hot, a lot of people put on their ACs so that their houses can be cool during summer. So that means if you use so much space heaters alongside the heaters you use you'll be spending so much money on utilities so you should be budgeting about 200 dollars to 300 dollars on utilities in calgary moving on to the cost of transportation now the cost of transportation is graduated so for children below five years um, it's free transportation is free but for youths who are between the age of 16 and 17 years they pay about two dollars 35 cents and then for adults who are 18 years and above, they pay $3.40. So for a monthly pass for an adult, the person will be budgeting $106.75. And then for a youth, the person should budget $75. So, but there is a subsidy. Um, the government of Alberta has provided subsidies for low income earners. So they look at your income and see and calculate how much they will give you for subsidy in terms of transportation and it's not it doesn't exceed 50 percent of what the transportation cost is so if you're a low income earner and you're earning below thirty thousand dollars or twenty thousand dollars you will get um your transportation subsidized still on transportation car insurance in calgary varies depending on the kind of car you buy and the age of the car so it varies and depending on, depends also on the coverage. So there are different scenarios and there are different coverages. Some people will want partial coverage, some people will want full coverage and so many other things attached to the car insurance. But you should be budgeting about $300 and above depending on the kind of car you buy and dependent on the age of the car and the coverage that you want on the car. For anybody who plans to buy a car, you should budget about $300 on car insurance monthly and then for the price of gas the price of gas is about one dollars nine cents per liter if you're going to fill your tank with 20 liters of gas you should be multiplying 20 liters with one dollars nine cents that should give you an idea of how much it will cost you to fill your car um, with gas another major expense that most families will spend money on aside rent is child care so the child care expense is graduated in calgary the younger the child the more expensive it is the older the child or the school based on where the child gets to a certain school age the cheaper it is in child care expense so for an infant you should be budgeting 1100 to 1200 dollars for an infant on child care expense per month for a toddler that a toddler is about two years old to three years old, um, you should be budgeting about $1,050. For a preschooler, you should be budgeting about $1,010. For a kindergartner, you should be budgeting about $800. And then for school age, you should be budgeting about $562. So this is a very big expense for um, families who have kids under the school age. And based on the child care expense um the alberta government has child care subsidy for families who have low income so for new immigrants they can take advantage of this and there are criteria for you to be eligible to get the child care subsidy um, amount the child care subsidy amount ranges from 200 dollars to 400 dollars depending on the age of the child and depending on various circumstances if the family, if one member of the family is working 
or has a low income and the other member of the family is going to school um, those are the criteria with which they um, look into before giving families um, subsidy for childcare. In addition to these expenses are groceries. So groceries is dependent on the family and how you eat healthy. If you want to eat healthy, you go for the organic foods and um, organic foods are not cheap anyway. So, but depends on how much you eat in your own house. You could budget about $500, $600, $1,000. It's dependent on how much you eat and how healthy you eat. Another expense is the telephone services and the telephone services has two options. The first option is you having your own cell phone and then just requesting for a SIM card and then paying monthly on, depending on the services you get, maybe if it's Canada wide calls or Canada wide text message and maybe five gigabyte data or 10 gigabyte data, depending on the kind of data you have on your phone, you could be paying about as much as $40 or $50. And if you don't want that option, you want the second option. The second option is you signing a contract with a telephone service provider and the contract will be for two years where you get new phones. So for you and your spouse, you're getting two new phones and you are paying about $110 to $115 or $20, depending on the services you get. If you want a Canada wide call, Canada wide text message, and unlimited data you can get it for $110 to $150 or if you want to restrict the data you get you could get uh, it cheaper than that so you should be budgeting about $110 to $150 for your telephone services so based on this I believe Calgary is a very affordable city to live in and if you want to compare the prices with what you get in Toronto and what you get in Vancouver Calgary is the best. Calgary is amongst the three of these cities, Ontario and Vancouver. I believe Calgary is more affordable um, in terms of so many things. And you have high income earners in Calgary, people who earn fantastically well and have enough disposable income living in Calgary. So this is the information I want to share and I hope it is useful and beneficial to anybody who plans to land in Calgary. Thank you so much for watching and have a good day. Bye. -bye.